from the USA. Salamu alaikum, Sister Rumi. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you. Um, the question is, in your Prophet's prayer video, the dua that you um, showed that beginning of the prayer, Rukua time, between two prostration, can we make it in our own language, the meaning of the uh, Arabic dua, or it has to be in Arabic? Well, can you say it in, in, in Arabic, Sister Rumi? Uh, I can memorize it, but I haven't memorized it yet. So that's okay. why I was thinking, is it allowed to if you do not know it, language. if you do not know it in Arabic, you can say it in your mother tongue, but I highly recommend for you to memorize it, inshallah. And if you do not say it at all until you memorize it, it is perfectly okay because it is mere recommended. It only increases your word in the prayer. All right? And any, all right. Thank you, Sheikh. And any supplication you want to invoke Allah with in the prayer, including in your surah, besides the prescribed mandatory adhkar. You don't know it in Arabic. You want to invoke Allah in your mother tongue. It is permissible. So in Rukua, even if you're a new Muslim, just accepted Islam today, you ask any sister. We have some sisters who are in the Marines, some brothers who are police officers. And you say, say, Subhanallah. Okay, Subhanallah. Subhana Rabbi al -Azim. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la, and they learn that. We have very good experience with that. So if they learn it, then it's not permissible to say in English, glory be to my Lord, the Most High, because you know how to say it in Arabic. Then in your sujood, you want to ask Allah, oh Allah, increase me in knowledge. You don't know how to say in Arabic. Say it in Hindu, in, in, in Urdu, in Persian, in English. It's accepted. It is permissible.